Hello and welcome to our first episode of Summon the Pack. This is a new series we're trying out where we will open a pack. Today a Zendika Rising Draft Booster. Take a look at our cards and I will walk you through my process of building our four piles for a game of Booster Blitz. If you're new to the channel and you don't know what Booster Blitz is and how to play it, we made a tutorial for that. I've put up a link to check it out. Well. Now, let's get started. Alright, so our first card is a disenchant, an instant that destroys target artifact or enchantment. Kind of narrow, um, so rather a card that we use as a filler probably. I'm just going to put it here. Then we have a field research, a sorcery that says draw two cards. If the spell was kicked, draw three cards instead. Now this unfortunately is a dead card in Booster Blitz since we don't have a library, there won't be any cards we can draw. So fringe card as well. Um, wow, this is a pretty cool card. A Scorch Rider, it's the four three human warrior with kicker. And it says when it um, was kicked, it gains haste until end of turn. So this is already a 4-3 haste. Now, since our opponent only has 5 life as well as we do, if we can manage to give this one uh, another point of power, we might be able to kill our opponent on the very first turn. So this is rather exciting. Just going to put it on the left here um, for our creatures. So basically what I do um, when I go through my pack is I have one pile with... All my creatures and another pile with my non-creature spells and lands and a third pile with uh, basically trash cards or fringe cards that don't have any effect by themselves but might be useful in combination with some other cards so then we have a kazandu stomper a 6-5 beast with trample and when it has the battlefield return up to two lands you control to the owner's hand now this is a great card obviously a 6-5 is a very very good <laughs> very good creature um, since we can swing and kill our opponent with one attack um, he has to block trample um, kind of an evasion so yeah very good creature i'd say then we have a subtle strike uh, instant that says choose one or both the target creature gets minus one minus one until end of turn or put a plus one plus one counter on target creature or both of course now this is the card i was talking about we are looking for something like this um with the scorch rider if we're on the play um, we play it with kicker so it gets haste um, attack and four damage cast a subtle strike on it so now it's a five four um even if our opponent has a creature or two um he we can uh, weaken one of them so th these two are already a pretty good combo so I'm just going to put them here as our first pile because this this will be great. Okay, then we have an Expedition Healer, a 2-2 Core Cleric with Vigilance and says it has lifelink as long as we control another Cleric. So, okay creature, not, not a very exciting, but it will do, I guess. Then we have a Risen Riptide, a 0-5 Elemental and it says whenever you cast a kicked spell, Risen Riptide has base power and toughness 5-5 five, five until end of turn. Um, so not very exciting, um, a zero 5 is a good war, so good card to combine with a flyer for example, so that we can hold the ground while our flyer attacks um, our opponent. Now we do already have kicker spells, so um, that's not the issue, but since uh, it only is a uh, 5-5 five, five until end of turn, um, if our opponent blocks and we don't have another kicker spell, the, the card is dead basically. So not that great of card. Then we have a Stonework Pack Beast, which is a 2 1 beast, and it is also a cleric, rook, warrior, and wizard, which is relevant for the party mechanic in the set. And we may pay 2 mana to add 1 mana of any color, so that doesn't help us since we have infinite mana in Booster Blitz. Um, so, yeah, basically just an okay creature. Um, this is one of my favorite cards in the set for Booster Blitz, probably. It's a uh, Royal Eruption, a sorcery that says it deals 3 damage to any target, and if the spell was kicked, it deals 5 damage instead. 
So what that means is since our opponent only has five uh, life, we can just, if we aren't the play, um, play it kicked and kill the opponent with one attack. So they need a instant speed life gain or a counter spell. Then we have anti-cognition, an instant that says counter target creature or planeswalker spell unless its controller pays two. If an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, instead counter that spell, then scry two. Um, unfortunately, this is a dead card because the extra two mana for our opponent um, won't bother him again because of the infinite mana. And since piles only have three cards, there will never be a situation where our opponent can have eight or more cards in their graveyard. So on this pile you go. And then we have a sure-footed infiltrator, a 2-3 Merfolk Rogue. And it says, tap another untapped rogue you control. Sure-footed infiltrator can't be blocked this turn. And whenever sure-footed infiltrator deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So, okay, creature, I suppose. Um, and if we find another rogue, for example, the pack beast. Um, we have an unblockable creature, so that's quite nice. Um, best case is we can give it three additional powers. So, again, for the one swing win. And then we have an iridescent horn beetle a 3-4 insect and it says at the beginning of your end step create a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token for each plus one plus one counter you've put on creatures under your control this turn um the effect is kind of narrow um there's not that many effects that put counters on creatures of course the subtle strike being an exception here already um though a 3-4 is a uh, acceptable size for a creature i'd say then we have a bala get recovery uh, sorcery that says return target creature from your graveyard or sorry return target card from your graveyard to your hand um, so that's quite quite good um, can also be played oops sorry can also be played as a land um, and as a battlefield tapped and adds one green mana now obviously lands um, in booster blitz are usually useless but since there's the landfall ability in Zeneca Rising um, we might get out more from lands than from the other side um, but again getting back a card from our graveyard is always great um, uh, either as redundancy for a creature or of course for our spells so then we have coveted price uh, our rare here it's a sorcery that costs one less for each uh, creature in our party which doesn't matter for us and we may search our library for a card, put it into our hand, then shuffle our library. Um, yeah, that doesn't do anything for us, unfortunately. Um, I guess it's nice to do in other formats, but without library, this won't do. Then, of course, we have a full art mountain. Um, I'm going to put this here as well, since, again, this is the pile with cards that won't have any effect by themselves, um, but rather rely on some fringe uh, effect with other creatures. And the token card, I'm just gonna put that here. That's our pack. Um, we already have one combo, I'd say, um, that I want to play um, just because it's, so I'm starting to look at combinations of cards that can kill our opponent in one turn. That's the best case scenario if they don't have any interaction. Um, so again, the Scorch Rider um, for three haste with plus one plus one is already a one kill, um, one attack kill. And the other one is the Royal Eruption, which just deals five damage to our opponent and is already very, very good. Now, as you can see, um, we were kind of lucky to get at least a couple of creatures. Um, sometimes you have a pack where you only have two or three creatures in your 15 cards. Um, that's obviously bad since you need the creatures for the most part to win the game. Um, but I guess we are in a okay position here. So just gonna switch these to make it easier for you to see. Um, the other interaction which was kind of neat is the sure-footed infiltrator um, which gets uh, unblockable if we tap another rook and the stonework pack beast which counts as a rook and is kind of unexciting otherwise um, and the other creature which is very good is the kazandu stumper um, this one can probably win the game by itself so um, 
these are all strong cards or combinations of cards by themselves and then we can take a look at our other cards now we do have to play probably some of these um, as you can see we don't have any real interaction um, disenchant is something you can play because sometimes you do get lucky and our opponent um, has for example an artifact creature or enchantment creature we can destroy the land unfortunately won't bring us anything because we don't have any landfall interaction here coveted prize again won't do anything and the anti-cognition as well now the field research is interesting because what we could do is combine it with the risen riptide um, to we won't draw cards but at least we can get a 5-5 out of it um, so i suppose what i would do since we don't have enough um, kicker to make risen riptide viable anyway um, we can just combine it with another kicker effect we already have um, so basically to have the royal eruption which is a pretty sure way to win the game on the spot if this fails for whatever reason we still have a 0-5 to block and then we can in our next turn play field research kicked to have a 5-5 five five and hopefully um, kill our opponent with that. So this will be our first finished pile. I'm very very confident that uh, this one will win us uh, the match that it gets played in. Then we have the uh, haste plus one plus one combination. Mm. I suppose we can just fill it up with the disenchantment, uh, disenchant, um, just in case he has some, I don't know, bottle snare or whatever. Um, and the Kazandu Stomper, um, again, should be strong enough to fight on its own. Um, now, of course, since we only have one creature in this pack, it's very. Um, weak to removal um, be it a counter target creature spell or a kill spell so i would combine it with the bala get recovery um, just so if the stomper gets killed we can get it back to our hand and play it again now i guess this one is our weakest pack because we only have a 2-3 and a 2-1 and yes we can give it unblockable um, but with a two power creature we have to attack three times and we don't have any other way to um, make it stronger and I don't want to give it the subtle strike because that's just so much better in this pile so um, I'm gonna give this pile the strongest other creature we have which is the horn beetle it's just a 3-4 and we don't get any um, interaction with the plus one plus one effects but still this way we have three creatures and my hope would be um, that we can attack with each turn with the 2-3 unblockable while holding the ground with the 3-4 because our opponent hopefully doesn't have anything else and then we can just attack with all three creatures to kill him and i suppose since the expedition healer is left over it's just a 2-2 vigilance nothing too exciting but we can add it to this pile um, because our other cards are trash um, hopefully to just have some extra blocker for maybe if he has some haste shenanigans um, so we're sure so with that out of the way that would be my three piles um, we have two piles which are very likely to be a one-shot kill um, and have some redundancy with risen riptide field research and the disenchant to get rid of some pesky enchantment or artifact then we have two weaker packs one with a fatty and a backup healer and some card to get it back and then we have our three creatures which hopefully work good enough together to maybe win the match and that's it for the very first episode of some of the pack i hope you enjoyed this video and if you got any feedback um, we'd love to hear from you in the comment section and see you next time bye